Hi folks, David Gerard with the mystery of the vanishing handkerchief. Watch closely. The handkerchief gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Not gone yet. First, a wave with the magic wand. Then, a little snap. And just like magic, the handkerchief has disappeared and turned into an egg. Now you're wondering, where is the handkerchief? Here's what I want you to do, right wherever you're watching us. I want you to look at your hand, make sure your hand's empty. I want you to reach into your purse or your pocket, reach all the way down in the bottom. It's not there, is it? But that would be awesome, I'm working on it. Actually, the handkerchief has jumped over here into this pocket, the mystery of the vanishing handkerchief. Now let me teach you how this one is done. This is a great trick, it's very simple to do. Here's the secret special egg with a hole in it. So here's what you need. You need two handkerchiefs and you need a fake egg. Now don't try to make these. It's pretty easy to blow an egg out and get this, but once you try to open this hole up, the whole thing will crumble. So uh, here's what I would suggest. Find a fake farm. Surely there's a farm around you somewhere, a fake farm. On the fake farm, they'll be sure to have fake chickens and get a fake, fake chicken to lay the fake egg for you. If uh, that seems like a lot of work, just do what I did. Go to the magic shop and buy one of these. They come in all different sizes and shapes and colors. Here's a plastic one, which is great if you if you fumble. And uh, they even make a brown one. So you need, you need, we'll use the brown one for the demonstration here. You need two handkerchiefs to the same. Place one in a pocket, take one corner of the second handkerchief and start it into the egg. Then place the whole thing into a hat or a container where you can get to it. And last but not least, you'll need something to be your magic wand. Actually have a magic wand, but you can use a, a pencil, you can use a comb. Some of you can use a comb, but hey, that's okay. We're all staying at home, nobody cares. Whatever that is goes right here in your pocket or somewhere you can get to it and you're all set. When it's time to perform, reach in, grab the egg, because the handkerchief has started into the egg, the whole thing will come out. You don't want people to see the egg. You keep that back of your hand toward the audience. And call this the vanishing handkerchief. Not the, don't say anything about the egg. Talk about this is the mystery of the vanishing handkerchief. As you say that, begin to tuck the handkerchief into the egg. Move it up and down like this, which looks nice and also gives you a little bit of cover. Once you have the handkerchief completely tucked into the egg, then reach in your pocket, bring out your magic wand, wave it over the handkerchief, snap your fingers, and then all you have to do is open your hand, making sure that the back of the egg is toward you. That's the first part. Then you can get the joke about where the handkerchief went. You can reach in your pocket and reproduce the extra handkerchief. And that's the trick called the mystery of the vanishing handkerchief. Now there's one thing you need to watch out for. You need to be very careful not to let people see the hole. If somebody happens to see the hole, then here's what you do. Snap your fingers one more time and then you can just reach up here. And if you're careful, you can take the hole right off the egg. At this point, you need to be very careful with the egg because if you were to crack the egg, well, you would have a big mess. That's the mystery of the vanishing handkerchief. My dad is the one who got me interested in magic and that trick I just showed you is the very first trick I remember seeing him do. It was called the miracle egg. I still have the box that it came in. Still have the trick itself. And here's the box. You can see right there. It says the miracle egg. It's a great trick. It's the first trick I saw dad do. And one of the first tricks he taught me how to do. And it seemed like a great trick to do for you during this Easter season. A trick done with eggs. After all, during Easter, there are many people who think that Easter is all about eggs and candy and clothes and bunny rabbits. And I like all of those things. I'm not much on shopping, but I do like having something new to wear every once in a while. I, I'm not a big candy guy, but I enjoy a Twix bar every now and then. 
And eggs, I love eggs. I'll take two over easy, maybe with some sausage or a little bacon on the side. And as for bunny rabbits, well, I used to have a rabbit in my act. His name was Snowball. He was huge and he was always a huge hit. So the miracle egg, a perfect trick for the Easter season. But the real miracle of Easter has nothing to do with eggs or candy or clothes or rabbits. The real mystery, the real miracle of Easter is that a man who was dead is now alive. That changes everything. For me, for you, for everyone, forever. He is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Happy Easter, everyone.